Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason with Wyatt and Sons Construction. In today's video, we're forming up footers. So pretty much all we're doing is putting an addition on and we're matching up to this old foundation here. Same height, just making a box. The first step is we're gonna put the wall line up, the outside wall line, so we know where to put our forms. First thing you need, sledgehammer, a couple stakes, and a string line. You got that string line, bro? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right, you're lucky. You're lucky we got that. <laughs> so I was given this print here, 28 foot and 24 foot uh, three-sided box here of 10 inch block and then a six foot by 24 uh, box for this porch. I got cross measurements for everything, but I think I'm just gonna make an entire outside perimeter box to start. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 34 foot off cause it's 28 plus six. So 34 foot off, I'm gonna put a string across this entire back here. So this is what it looks like, how I'm looking at it. Like, that's the house. House. I just put this line up right here at 34 feet. That way I don't have to pull two tapes. But lines up, stake, stake. Now we can pull our cross. So pretty simple. Jake's gonna hold me right there, which is that corner. And I'm gonna go over to my line over here yourself a marker I have my cross measurement 41 7 and 7 16 and just mark that right on the string so Jake's over there ready to go 41 foot 7 and 7 16 do 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 right there I marked it that's my corner and I do the same thing on the other side so I got that outside corner established, that outside corner established. I got these stakes right in the corner. I got the same thing over there. <clears throat> I just matched up the corner and now I can pull my string line all the way around and start forming. Exciting things going on here, Hell Jake. Yeah. All right, now I got that orange line up. I can take this back line down and start forming. We got boards laid out all along the outside. Got this uh, gas line out of our way. Going pretty good. Now we're gonna start screwing these boards together. All we do is wherever the boards meet, just put a scab on it, screw it together. Outside form, corner put together. Now we gotta make sure we're five inches off. So how the outside Wall line runs together, eights and tens, it doesn't matter. We know we have to go five inches off of this line all the way around, and we'll figure out the inside later. So I get my tape, and I eyeball five inches off of this side, right there, five inches off of this side. Five inches, five inches, and then we put a stake in. So that corner is perfect for distance. Thank you, I know I'm good. <laughs> yeah, Saul and Dad are here now. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're holding us together. I put marks on the wall here, eight inch increments for my block line. And I know my block will start right there and the bottom of this wall is the top of my footer height. So I put that on my beep beep transit. Grab, grab the beep beep, and uh, I'll hold it while Saul screws it. Oh, now we got that corner set, we can come and set this one. Now I just make sure I'm five inches off of the line this way. I got a little overhang on the board, so I'll have to figure out the distance. Both outside corners are established at the height. Now we can go back, both sides over there. 
So we're just gonna go all the way around this and stake it. It's pretty easy. This is the wall line. You, we measure off five inches and stake it and put the beep beep on it. Outside of the forms all the way for this addition are completed, set the height, everything. We measured off for this will be the basement area. This wall line's established now, and this will be the porch area. So the porch will be 18 inches a footer, and then this wall line will be 20 inches a footer. Forgot the saw. Thankfully the homeowner's nice and let us have it. Thank you. <laughs> got the porch all framed in now we just gotta stake it to height so we're just gonna use the level there level across from our outside wall outside footer board make it level stake it all up porch footers are completed this was our only 18 inch section of footers the rest will be 20 We didn't bring any job dogs today, but somehow there's still one here. Job doggy. Put that away. <laughs> <laughs> All the forming is completed, staked to height, everything. It's great. Good job, guys. Dad put these spacers out for a rebar. Rebar chairs, about every four foot, roughly. Not too worried about the real spacing. Now we're gonna start spacing two rows of rebar everywhere throughout this pile of rebar gonna stretch it all out so dad's tying them all together all you gotta do is make sure you got about three inches on this side off your form three inches on this side off your form got the whirly bird tire ties that's about it tie them to your chairs to keep them spaced out Whenever you have rebar meeting up together, you want at least two feet of overlap here. In the corners, we bent them and just make sure, same thing, three inches off each side of your forms. The way you bend them is all you do is stand on it and pick it up. Gotta be a little strong. Right, Saul, like you? What's that? Strong like you? Yes, sir. He's our saw and our metal bender. That's everything on getting these footers ready. They're all ready to pour. Inspector's coming tomorrow morning and we'll be pouring right behind them. Oh yeah, Jake's putting these scabbers on for added uh, support from the pressure of the concrete. So like every five, 10 feet-ish, putting these spacers across both forms. Inspection went good, about to start the footer pour. Getting our trailer out of the way so the concrete truck can pull up here. He's in the way. Got some wheelbarrows there. We're gonna have to wheelbarrow like half of this. He told me to use 4,000 instead of accelerator. Okay. So that's what we're doing. 4,000. For footers is tremendous overkill. Overkill. That's the how inspector we- inspector was so thrilled with this. He gave us tons of compliments on how good you boys are setting footers. Are you serious? Never seen footers this nice. Wow, really? That is awesome. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good job, Saul. Good job, Mason. Jake, Jake, come here. Uh, or Air 5, right here. Boom. I assume that inspector's seen a couple footers too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. Truck's pulled up, got the porta potty out the way. Bill's here, he's got her sweatshirt on. This is the screed slash mag. I'm in charge of making these footers flat. And that's here, holding the fort down. Nice, throw gang signs up on YouTube. Real, 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 real nice. Can you believe this? No, I cannot. We got the wheelbarrows first. We're gonna do everything that we can with the wheelbarrows. Or have to do with the wheelbarrows over here, over there. And then we'll shoot the rest, like only from where they're at over. As Soon as I get a big pile like that, I just rake it out. Once I get it raked out pretty close, I can just come through with my Darby. I rest it on both sides, hard bench, hard bench, and just bag it off. Bag it flat. Make sure everywhere you got a scab, you got mud underneath there, you get in. 
We all make it flat. We're gonna let this set up for about two, three hours and then we're gonna rip all the forms apart. We don't wanna wait till tomorrow. We wanna do it while it's still green. That way we don't have to struggle. Ripped all the spreaders off, magged underneath them. Looking really good. Some of the best footers we've ever done. Now I'm just going around unscrewing all the stakes and that's all right even though it's a little wet because it's just holding the forms together. I got all the screws out of every stake. All the spreaders are off. And it's a little wet yet, so I can't actually rip the forms off. But even though I took everything apart, it's still holding it together, so nothing is disturbed yet. We're going to let it set up about another hour or so. All we got to do left is rip the stakes out, clean the forms up, and we're done. Popping stakes out time. Is that what you think? Yeah, I think so. All right. It seems to be holding forms somewhat. Peeling all the forms off. I'm just making sure we don't step on it anywhere. It's holding form good. Right onto the trailer. Nets scraping them. Jake's scraping them. Saul just stands here like normal. Yeah. Keep oh, working yeah. hard, Saul. Scraping concrete. Yeah, that's, that's good work. Did you get it square? What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to lay block. I don't know. <laughs> Working hard. Always. Forms are off. Jakey's scraping the last one. Just gotta unload the trailer when we get home. The final step of uh, footers is always to fill in the middle here with gravel. And the homeowner's gonna do that right there is the gravel. It's gonna go in the hole. And then we can put our block down there. Next video, I'm gonna lay out where the corners go. Build the block corners and leads and a couple more videos on doing blocks so stay so, tuned so excited i got my mud show already